video. So we're in this utility room. It's been bricked up, but we've climbed over. And uh, we've got to go down here to get to the machinery room. So we're dropping bits of cable down and stuff to try and figure out a way to get down. So yeah. See you in a bit once we've managed to get down. Here's all of the electrics, by the way. All of this is disconnected. The UPS look. Big massive UPS. All this equipment. So here we are. We've just come down. I've come down on this wire here. And then I've moved this cabinet here so Ben could get down because they weren't willing to come down on the cabinet, uh, on the, with the rope, sorry. So we've got some sort of uh, water tank or some air pressure tank or a boiler of some sort. And then we've got all of this equipment down here. Fire extinguisher there. We've got that over there. And now we need to go down this corridor here. So I'll see you in a bit. So now we're going to walk down here. And you can stand on that. Stand on that. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit wet. Wellington boots would have been ideal. That's still on the pipes. Ah, right, Mr. Benno. You did say, but I was so focused on filming that I didn't. Right, that's take... it. Just got back out now. That's it. You're that's joking. It. No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful spiral staircase behind you. <laughs> Danger test in project in process. Oh, spiral stairs. Very narrow, I've already got my, my uh, gimbal bag caught on the banister. Right. See if I've still got everything by the time we've got to the top. It is really narrow, this staircase. Right, my bag's scraping and everything. <sighs> Being adventurous getting down there using that um, wire, you know. Just imagine it could come off a wall any minute. And there's a stopcock there. <sighs> Going up. Oh, it's a sliding door. <laughs> oh, mate, close up. Oh, wow. You have to be a little bit careful of light at the front. Why does it leak out? Yeah. That's how it's probably got We'll get up on top and then you'll be able to look into that room in a minute. These are all like dosing pumps, aren't they? Everything in here is all hydraulic. Uh, sorry, not hydraulic, pneumatic. And what's that there? That's, that's where the sound, so this is the, uh, where all the air would have been sucked in from the engine. It's quite nice. You got to be careful of that fire exit, Darben. This is just a drop. Is it a drop? Outside. Ben, be careful, that's outside, there's no wall, so it's just a pigeon that in. Oh wow, I like these pigeons for that. You need more of a, a focused flashlight, though. To yeah.
that one big massive. Pipe, we even like these. Oh no, they're just for with cable um, terminal blocks. Now they go up here. This is the upper deck to all of the hydraulic equipment. Look at that, there's even manual controls to a chair, to a crane up there. The crane there, and there are the manual controls. So all these big pipes, big stop cocks. What? Because they used to have planes running in a soundproof chamber. Yeah. For testing. I don't know what you mean by it going flat. Does that go up onto another platform? You can't get it working, this is just like a, a view. Is there a drop at the end of this? Yeah. Where does it drop down to? Oh, yeah, right. Go on, just stand up. Pop over. I don't need to get it down. <laughs> oh, wow. Fucking hell. It's very weird. I can't even tear my camera off all that. It's like... Oh, you can look at this size. thing you're doing from Ryan. You can't see a thing on Ryan, but you can see what I'm doing. The, the size doesn't do it any justice. Fucking hell. Up. Fire. Yeah, it's, it's, it's massive. Yeah. And I can hear myself echoing more behind me than I can in front. Yeah. Well, all of these... In there, he's dead. The sound is dead. The all foam blocks, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. This, this is what they all are. We're not going to notice anyone in here because we haven't done not it. Not inside, but obviously there's the big opening. Place. Well, all this foam will be like soundproofing. But you could camp in here. Where are those places the engines? Uh, it used to just be right in front below us. Is, so this, this um, thing underneath us there is a big circular thing that comes out of the big... Right below us is a massive big hole and the engine would be bolted to that. And that would have been the exhaust where all the exhaust goes and underneath it there's all tunnels that go underneath and then it all sucks out and goes out the sides. But someone's, someone's done something down there in the middle because you used to be able to climb up there. I don't know what's happened down there. Yeah. In the middle. So, and you can see they've been taking foam off for a while. Yeah, I don't quite know why. What's been going on? Yeah, a massive big chunk of foam has knocked that whole section for some reason. So how many tunnels are there under here? Uh, so underneath that, underneath that room there, there's tunnels underneath there. Just one big tunnel with all ducts and stuff to disperse all the sound. Uh, so, so we've just climbed through these owls here. We're inside the main facility compound now. There's some foam here. This foam is part of the sandproofing material that we've used in the room. So let's go and have a look. So we've got this equipment here. This relays, large relays and things. And got a room off to the side. 
And I think this is actually the padded room. So let's see what they sound like. And have you noticed that as echoes have completely disappeared? So now, when I'm talking, I feel like I'm sort of... The best way to describe it is like when you put your fingers in your ears. Is that how you'd describe it? Yeah. When you put your fingers in your ears, it's like you can only hear... Yeah. So, like, I can scream now. Woo! And there's no echo. Did you hear that? It sounded completely flat. Woo! You see? It's, like, completely flat. All of this is foam. All of it. Look. This foam is because they used to put engines in here and test them. And they didn't want the noise pollution to cause uh, problems for nearby businesses and things. So they've put all of this foam on the on the walls to make it dead silent. So it's absolutely silent in here. Absolutely silent. And the thing is, right, if you think about where we were, we, can you see that where that crane is up there, right? We... Well, right up there where that crane is, where the hoist is, what would have moved the engine. We were right up there. All the way up there, look. So we were, were looking at this room from right up there. That's the camera on the wall. You know? Look at this, it's amazing in here. Absolutely amazing. Can't beat it in here. The the feeling and the silence is so peaceful that you get in here. I mean, you, you, there's no you know like when you normally talk, there's a bit of like an echo and wind noise and, and ambient noises. There's none of that. It's dead silent, absolute silence. Let's just stop talking a second. Let's just listen to the noise. All right? Are you ready to stop walking, Ben? There's absolutely no noise. It's like completely quiet, isn't it? It's like dead. Isn't it? Absolutely dead. So now I'm going to climb up there. That would have been the exhaust for the engine. Where the engine would have exhausted. And yeah, that might be a good photo opportunity for... So I have to sort of push up on here. While grabbing hold onto that. So I think the best way to do it... Like that. But then my gym, my, uh, my my tactical vest gets caught, so I'll go like that, and up we go. Now we're in the ventilation uh, area of the uh, where the engine fumes would have gone. So shall we go down there? Yeah. Let's have a look. Well, I ain't got a torch now. <laughs> Can you pass me one of those lights, Ben? It says it's his zip tie. So the exhaust from the engine goes this way and it's getting sucked out because the air, there's like constant air being blown in through all from all of that area there. You see where those where that honeycomb design is over there? That's what we looked through a while ago. I'll I'll highlight it with a brighter torch. Shh. Like you said earlier, it'd be wobbling around if it was a torch or and you even hear like the wind vibrating, look. Oh no, that's a step in. Right. So we've just jumped down from the ventilation bit and this would still have lots of positive pressure. Put your hood up then. So, right, the camera can't see you. Can you imagine how noisy it would have been in here and how much wind it would have I bet it would have been like that ventilation shaft, what we did. What do you think, Glenn? Hey. Do you think it would have been like that ventilation shaft? The, the, the one where the trains go? This would have been, I think or do you think it would have been worse? Because it would have been hot. Hot, uh, you know, that's where we've got to go to. Where does that where does that lead? To the to the last room. I'm squeezing through this like material. What 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 was the purpose of this material here? So the sound battles. Because the sound battles 
because the, the gases would have come out straight out the back into that chamber, through into here, through into here, and then sucked out. Well, that would have been good to breathe in these gases. I like the honeycomb designs and I like weird structures of the book to reinforce them. I really like this place. I can't believe you haven't come back here for six months. Look how amazing it is. Yeah, but look how amazing it is. It's just nice. Yeah, it's an emergency stop it. Yeah. There, there, there is quite a lot of them in here. Sort of yeah, well, if you're in here breathing these gases in, fucking hell. Oh my other content and subscribe